are looking at purple nightshade, also known as horse nettle. This is a common weed all over town. It's really quite pretty. It has these beautiful purple petals. And if you look carefully, you'll see that they are joined through much of their length. And if you look carefully at these stamens, which are the bright yellowish orange elongate structures, unlike most stamens that open up like this and form like a boat keel, these stamens have just a little pore at the end and the pollen has to empty out through the end of that pore. The leaves are a little wavy and grayish in appearance. Let's hold on a second. They're grayish in appearance because they are covered in star-shaped hairs. If, they look, if you look under a microscope at the hairs, you'll see they have a short stalk from which a whole bunch of star-like rays emanate from. Star-like hairs making it look gray. There are so many of them. This is Solanum eliagnifolium. That's a very funny species name, eliagnifolium. How are you doing? What it means is like eliagnus, which is Russian olive. Someone thought that these leaves looked like Russian olive leaves and gave the plant that name in Latin. Solanum eliagnifolium. Here are the fruits. They're actually a berry, just like a tomato. Tomatoes in the same family, same genus actually, is this, uh, same family at least. And a tomato, scientifically or bot botanically, is a berry, and these are a berry also. Very poisonous. You don't want to eat this plant, and I suspect it would be good to keep your dogs away from this as well.